Good morning. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. <laughs> and you just tuned into the Morning Devotion. We're here to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Amen. That's where Amen. true victory is Amen. found. Amen. Amen. No other name. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray blessings on your Word today. Yes, Lord, if we pray over food and ask you to bless it, Lord, how much more that, Lord, we would ask your blessing upon the nourishment that we can get from your word. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Jesus said that man doesn't live by bread alone, but out of the very words that come from God. Amen. So this word is like a meal to us. Amen. And breakfast is an important, important meal. meal. <laughs> so starting your day with a little bit of word is crucial. Amen. Today we're in Psalms 31. Yesterday we're in Psalms 30. Mm -hmm. But this is what it says in the very first verse. So if you have your Bibles, open them up to Psalms 31 and let us read, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness in thee O Lord who do you put your trust in mm -hmm. is your trust in your 401k is your trust in your finances is your trust in family is your trust in friends is your trust in your church or your job or what do you put your trust in do you have trust in your alarm system do you have trust in Smith and Wesson Regardless, the best place to put your trust is in the Lord. Amen. He will never leave you or forsake you. It says, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Not your righteousness. Not my righteousness. Not your righteousness. But God's righteousness. And God, if He is doing works in your life, then you know that they're good works. You know that they're the right things. And you can trust God. I have, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. That's what David said. And you know what? I could say the same thing. I have never seen him forsaken. And even like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who said, E even if we get cast into the fur furnace, it doesn't matter because God <laughs> will take care of us. And yep. if this goes away in any process, this, this flesh that it, we are in, then we are stepping out into an eternity with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what a glorious day that'll be. What's verse 2? And I'm reading out of the New King James. It says, bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily, be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. Keep reading. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, let me lead me. For your great name's sake, lead me and guide me. Do you notice that he, David tends to always say, for your great name's sake. David lived his life in a way that he wanted to Amen. honor God. You know, everything we do in our life, we should do it in a way that it makes people want to know more about our God. In a way that honors God. It is, I mean, it's the greatest praise is to be able to live your life. Yes. You know, we say, we say we're a living sacrifice. You know, our life should be dedicated to drawing people to Jesus, to lifting up the name of yeah. Jesus. I mean, if you care so much about the environment and this and that, how much more we should care about people's souls? Yeah, and That's the, the part the, that the lives forever. The word soul is used in the Bible a whole lot of times. Yes. Um, just the word soul itself uh, is used well over 400. Some places estimated to be over 700 times. God cares about your soul. Yeah. But I think it's interesting where he said your namesake because that's the same term that was used in Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me to the path of righteousness for his namesake. God cares for you. Yes. If you are part of his family, then you 
have an inheritance, but not just an inheritance, but you are part of a, a famous name. I mean, if you think about that, it's like saying, well, I'm part of the Rothschilds. Well, I'm part of this family. I'm part of, well, I'm part of God's family. Yeah. And God cares about his children. Nobody higher. So there ain't nobody higher than to say, I'm a child of God. It says, my turn, pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for Martha thou secretly. art my strength. Her, 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 her non-King James version says <laughs> secretly, privately, I'm sure. Yes. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. The Lord has redeemed you. He has bought you with a price. He has paid for all of your transgressions to be forgiven. He was the sacrificed lamb, the Passover lamb. He was the Lord, God, the same one who created the heavens and the earth, came, lived, gave his life, mm -hmm. died, resurrected, ascended into heaven, and he did all that for us. And so I put my trust and I commit myself and my life to him. Amen. It says, I like the, that it says, you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Amen. You know, he is the God of truth. There's a lot of false gods out there. A lot of untruth. <laughs> I mean, the enemy is a liar. He is the father of lies. Mm -hmm. In contrast, here we have the Lord God of truth. It says, I have hated those who regard useless idols, but I trust in the Amen. Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up in the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place, in a safe, steady place, Amen. a firm place. The Amen. Lord has us. Corey Ten Boom says this, God takes our sins, the past, the present, and future, and dumps them into the sea, and puts up a sign that says, no fishing, no fishing allowed. allowed. You know, we can trust the Lord. When you've asked him to forgive you of your yes. sins, when you've done something wrong and you've caught yourself and you've truly repented and really feel bad of what you did and you ask the Lord to forgive you, you need to remember it's gone. Let it go. He forgives you. Don't try to catch it back. No fishing allowed. No fishing allowed. <laughs> Once you give it to the Lord, let him keep it. Even if people remind you of what you did in the past, it's okay. They can remember they're not God. God says, that's it. It's wiped clean. You just keep walking toward the Lord. Every day is a new day. And God is there to bless you. Oh, I'm trying to think how that scripture goes. Your mercies are new every morning. Every morning. Every morning. And finish off with this. What is this thing about? Uh, I, I, sometimes I'm peeking ahead at Randy's notes. <laughs> and she said, hold everything, everything in your hands lightly. lightly. Otherwise, it hurts when God pries your fingers <laughs> open. open. <laughs> Don't hold on to things so tightly that <laughs> it hurts to let them go. Yeah. We'll leave, you, leave that on the table this morning. Thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you will just enjoy this great day. And we yep. will see you tomorrow morning. Church. Church at 1030, Intercession City Church of God. So come on down. Yep. If you're watching online, we would love to have you join us in service in person this Sunday. And if you live somewhere else and you can't come to our church, go to church somewhere. Don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Amen. Amen. So 
thank fun. you for those who give online. Yes. Um, it's a blessing you keep us it going. Is, it so. is very much a blessing. And God has provided as Amen. he always, always provides. Thank you. Have a great day. Keep a praise, praise on, on your, your heart. heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow.